my expect the comics and I'm back this week with my new comic book day top picks of the week if you're interested in seeing what my top picks are stay tuned for that intro welcome back if you haven't already please don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content you get in a timely fashion before we get into our top picks for new comic book day I'd love to give um, a big shout out to the channel sponsor, Bombardier and Sons Comics and Collectibles. This past Friday, they just uh, launched a new store exclusive. Um, it's going to be for Source Point Press. It's called I Hate You, Please Die, issue number zero. It is a cool hybrid theory album cover homage done by the great Chin Potter. All right, so check that out. All right, so going into this week, we got five picks this week. Um, and to be honest, I found it a little bit difficult to pick five. I thought this was overall a pretty, pretty light week. But uh, I'm going to do my best. So for number five this week, we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Last Ronin, issue number five. Yes, the final issue. I'll believe it when it shows up on the store shelves because this has been an ongoing mockery of... Uh, IDW to complete this five issue miniseries with the last Ronin. So if it does show up on shelves this week, I'm going to recommend you pick it up and see what the whole finale is all about. I think it's going to be pretty good. So that's number five this week. Number four this week from Image Comics, we've got Bloodstained Teeth issue number one, described as a fast paced hundred bullet style crime saga focused on a vampire who will grant human immortality for the right price. Um, is going to be a few different variants for this uh, new number one. I do think they have up to a 1 in 100. I don't think that's going to be really necessary. I'm going to just recommend cover A. Um, I don't really see anything speculative coming out of it. I just think it's going to be an interesting uh, read if you do like uh, the horror genre. So uh, that's my number four this week. Number three this week will be also coming from Image Comics, and that's going to be something is killing the children number 22 the second issue of the new story arc this is supposedly going to have three new characters introduced and uh something is killing the children has just been you know continuously like hot series um and whenever there is a new character usually there's a lot of speculation behind it so um, they usually do pretty well in the secondary market there is a one in one uh is a one in 25 and a one in 50 cover I'm honestly not a big fan of them. Even, you know, the one in 50 is by Frizen, and I'm not really a big fan of that cover either. I'm just going to stick to the cover A and just see what, you know, comes of the story. So uh, that's number three this week. Number two this week will be from DC, and it's going to be Batman Beyond, The White Knight number two from DC Black Label. Sean Murphy writing. Sean Murphy, artist. <laughs> He's doing both. He's doing a lot of work. Um, and it's been showing off. First issue was fantastic. Um, it did well in the secondary market as well, especially with that cover A. Um, Going to continue it forward because it was just a great read and great artwork. So that's my number two this week. And rounding off number one this week, yes, is not going to be a Marvel book. Marvel didn't even make top five this week, which... You know, some people were like, well, hey, Dave, why don't you recommend Amazing Spider-Man number one? You know, and honestly, I would have, but the last series was so long and drawn out from issue 70 something when Nick Spencer got the boot to, you know, the 90s. It was basically a trial by a writer and the last few issues it was done by Zeb Wells and it looks like he got it. So he's going to be premiering the new number one. Um, and there is uh, John Romita Jr. artwork, which some people like him, some people don't. But I haven't been hearing good things from the people who got the early releases, so that's why I didn't recommend it. Basically, Marvel has to prove me that it's going to be worth picking up another Amazing Spider-Man book because they just have not been performing as their flagship title. So, my little rant on that. Going on to number one this week. Back at it again. DC Comics, Justice League issue number 75. There's going to be two things going on here. There's going to be a first full team appearance of Pariah's Dark Army, 
which is uh, consisted of Darkseid, Ares, Doomsday, Calypso, Neron, and Necron. But more importantly, as it shows on the cover, the death of the Justice League. And yes, there will be a lot of deaths in this issue. Um, I'm not going to reveal any spoilers outside of who dies. I do know who dies. Um, but I think it's going to be a fantastic read. I do believe it is the last issue. And uh, I'm excited to see what happens. So that's going to be my number one pick of the week. Justice League issue number 75. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my top list this week. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, I expect the comics. Out.